day kids today i will be teaching you about the greatest common factor or also known as gcf what is gcf gcf is the highest number that is a factor of two or more numbers it is the highest possible common number that you can divide exactly between two or more numbers to know more about these two definitions let us know how to solve for GCF. There are different ways in solving for GCF. First is listing factors. For example, you have a numbers 12 and 30. To solve for the GCF using this method, you have to write all the factor pairs that has a product of 12 and 30. Let's start with 12. 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 3 is also 12. But since 3 times 4 is the same as 4 times 3, no need to write for this pair. 5. There is no factor that we can pair up with 5 and get a product of 12. 6. We already have that, which is 2 times 6. 7, no, 8, no, 9, no, 10, no, 11, no, 12. Yes, we have it already, which is 1 times 12. For 12, the list of factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Next is factor pairs for 30. Let's always start with 1. 1 times 30 is 30. 2 times 15 is 30. 3 times 10 is also 30. 4. There's no factor that we can pair up with 4 to get a product of 30. 5 times 6 is 30. 6 times 5 we already have which is the same as 5 times 6 so we will stop our factor pairs from here for 30 the list of factors are 1 2 3 5 6 10 15 and 30 after listing all the factors for both 12 and 30, let's circle all the common factors. The common factors are 1, 2, 3, and 6. Among these common factors, the highest number is 6. Therefore, our GCF is 6. Let's have another example. You are given 21. 42 and 63. Using listing factors, let's solve for GCF. The factor pairs for 21 are 1 times 21. 2, there is no factor that can pair up with 2 to get a product of 21. 3, which is 3 times 7. 4, no. 5, no. 6, no. 7, we already have that, so we will stop right there. For 21, the list of factors are 1, 3, 7, and 21. How about 42? The factor pairs are 1 times 42, 2 times 21, 3 times 14, 6 times 7. 7, we already have, which is um, the same as 6 times 7. So we will stop right here. For 42, the list of factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21, and 42. Then, let's get the factor pairs of 63. We have 1 times
times 63. Two, no, there is no factor that we can pair with two to get an answer of 63. Three times 21, yes. Four, no, five, no, six, no, seven, yes, which is seven times nine. Eight, no. Nine, we already have, so we will stop here. For 63, the list of factors are 1, 3, 7, 9, 21, and 63. Now, let's circle all the common factors. We have 1, 3, 7, and 21. Among these common factors, the highest is 21. Therefore, our GCF is 21. Another way of solving for GCF is by continuous division. Given our previous example, 12 and 30, to solve its GCF using this method is to write it this way. Think of a same number that can be divided to 12 and 30. We can start by using the prime magic numbers like 2, 3, 5, and 7. For example, since both are even numbers, let's divide 12 and 30 by 2. Write 2 on the outside part. Let's divide 12 divided by 2 is 6. 30 divided by 2 is 15. Are there still any same numbers that we can divide for both 6 and 15? Of course! Looking at our prime magic numbers, can we divide 6 and 15 by 2? No. How about 3? Yes, we can divide both 6 and 15 by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Are there still any same numbers that we can divide for both 2 and 5? If your answer is no or 1, therefore, we will stop our ladder here. Then proceed to the next step which is we will multiply all the numbers on the left side of the ladder. We have here 2 and 3. Multiply them, 2 times 3, the answer is 6. Therefore, our GCF is 6. What if you use 6 from the very start to divide both 12 and 30? Like 12 divided by 6 is 2 and 30 divided by 6 is 5. Well, good for you because there are no other numbers aside from 1 can be divided to 2 and 5. And from there, your GCF is 6. Another example is getting the GCF of 3 numbers using continuous division. We have here again 21, 42, 63. Using your prime magic numbers, let's divide all these 3 by the same divisor. Can we divide 21, 42, 63 by 2? No, because only 42 is the even number and the others are not. What about 3? Yes, let's divide 21, 42, 63 by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 42 divided by 3 is 14. 63 divided by 3 is 21. Are there still any same numbers that we can divide to 7, 14, and 21? Of course! Looking at our prime magic numbers, let's try the following. Can 7, 14, and 21 be divided by 2? No, only 14 is the even numbers. 
What about 3? Still no, because only 21 is divisible by 3. How about 5? Again, it's still no, because the numbers do not end with 5 or 0. Then, can we use 7? Yes, we can. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 7 is 2. And 21 divided by 7 is 3. Are there still any same numbers that we can divide for 1, 2, and 3? If your answer is no or 1, then it is the end of our ladder. Now, we will multiply all the numbers on the left side of the ladder, which is 3 and 7. 3 times 7 is 21. Therefore, your GCF is 21. There you have it. I hope you learned something. If you like our discussion, please click like and subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.